I would love for you to also talk a little bit about the business of singing. Um, maybe talk like um, give our songbirds some tips about auditions and how to present themselves and, you know, what do casting directors and, and vocal directors expect to see from a singer on stage in an opera? Yeah. So I've been an adjudicator for the Puccini Foundation in New York, for the Gerda Listener Foundation, the Giulio Gari, and also I do casting for my own company and also when I compose and I'm you know, casting one of my works. So I've had a lot of experience uh, as far as that's concerned. And I think that one of the things that happens with a, a young performer is they, um, they try to overdo during their audition. Because I can tell you that for me, um, I can, I can tell within 10 or 15 seconds, whether this person is going to be right for a certain role. Mm. So they don't have to do, uh, you know, the extended cadenzas and all of the other stuff. Uh, the, I think the, the best thing that a young performer could do when they do an audition is keep it simple and short, simple, and to the point. And that's, that's all. And then you also, I think when, when you do an audition, you, you, you've got to go out there with the attitude because it doesn't, whether or not you get the gig or win the competition really doesn't have so much to do with how good of a singer you are because casting directors, um, they already have a preconceived idea of what they want. It's whether or not that you fit that. So I think that you need to go out there and just say to yourself, this is what I do. I hope you like it. Yeah, just be real. And, and that's it, that's mm -hmm. it. You know, my friend Ricky Leach, um, great Metropolitan Opera tenor. We sang together in uh, Tri-Cities Opera in Binghamton. When he was called for his audition for the Metropolitan Opera, he, it, it came out of nowhere. He didn't want to turn the opportunity down, but he didn't really feel ready um, to do some big audition. He went out on the stage and, and they said to him, what would you like to start with? And he said, I haven't had a chance to warm up today, so I think I'm going to start with a little Italian song, Sento nel cuore. Do you know that? Uh, Sento nel cuore, certo dolore. It's just a little simple, like Caro Mio Ben yeah. sort of aria. And they were blown away. When he finished that simple song, they said, do you have anything else? And then he sang from um, Rigoletto, Parmi Veder Le Lagrime. So the thing is, is that uh, he was obviously what they were looking for at the time, and it didn't matter. But he could have gone out there and sang some tremendously difficult aria, and it would have been bye-bye because he wasn't ready for it. Right. He just you, got up there and real about it. Exactly. 